Well, Kenneth, since you're now an alpha group and you did this part all by yourself, I assume that parts of this paper may be welded in to the alpha submission after they get through with theirs. Uh, bear with me. Understand, I'm I'm kind of brutal when I go through papers. So, but all of it's intended in a good spirit to help you write at a higher level. And uh, considering you did this by yourself, you you've done pretty well. You need a running head right up here in this, so you need to look that up. Oh, fairly pleased there. Now you got a good opening sentence: a, a suffering disparity between school districts of various ethnicities affect Texas schools greatly. I, I don't know. There's a, it's a little bit ambiguous. It could be cleaned up some, but I mean, you do, you do hit a problem. Now it is. I don't like it is. You need to get. Don't ever use it to start a sentence. And you'll see that I've highlighted that on through. Cultural and ethnic data helps. The phrase data, the term data, is plural. So it should say data help rather than data helps. You, the singular of data would be datum, and you would say the datum helps when flying one. But that's a verb subject agreement. Very common mistake. The narrowing of the gap between white students and other ethnicities is a plague that has been hurting our country in so many ways. I think I understand what you're trying to say with this sentence, but this sentence could be interpreted the wrong way. Uh, what you're talking about, the performance gap but between and white uh, students and other ethnicities has been uh, robbing the, uh, the country of, of skilled, uh, of appropriate labor, whatever you choose to put in there. But the way it reads now really needs to be changed. It could be interpreted in a very racist stance if somebody wanted to take that position. It will help find it difficult. Get rid of those. And this sentence right here suggests that race, well, you start with a quote, but you don't end with a quote. And then the family unit is a highly talked about item in the political world and for much cause. I, that sentence sounds a little bit uh, too informal. I want you to polish that up again. While it isn't, get rid of it and don't use contractions. Students can't help. They're born. Uh, contractions really are in, you don't need in a formal paper. Now, again, a contraction here. This relationship, altogether different in their ideas, open. You have a verb subject agreement here. This relationship open, you would say this relationship opens. And the way that you got this in the middle is what uh, causes it to be ambiguous. Uh, here you have perform and perform. Now here's another common thing, there is, or it has. There and it again are ambiguous nouns and you need to write without them. And then the data is, the data are simultaneously supported. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well that, that stinking old dog shredded my paper. Well, what I'm trying to do is help you to write and learn to write at a scholarly research level. And you've got a good start. Still got some work to do on it, and I want you to get with Alpha Group and share this with them. We'll share this podcast with them. We'll call it Alpha One, and y'all can get your introduction really polished up and looking good. Now, I know you did a lot of work for one person to submit that, and I do appreciate that. Uh, we'll hang in there as we get towards through Module 2. The future modules hopefully will be a lot easier. You have a good one.